Today marked day two of the Nathan Carmen trial, a uh, civil trial, I should say, in a Providence courtroom. The 24-year-old is being sued by his insurance company over a claim for his boat. Carmen and his mother infamously went missing off the coast of Rhode Island in 2016. He was rescued, but his mother has never been found. Eyewitness News reporter Brandon Truitt's been following this case. He joins us now from Providence with today's developments. The second day of the trial was all about determining the condition of the boat when Carmen bought it. Both attorneys for Carmen and the insurance company grilled an expert witness. It was key testimony from the man who deemed the boat saleable in the first place. Wasn't Nathan Carmen and his attorney staying predictably silent as they entered federal court Wednesday morning. In the courtroom, both sides spending a majority of the morning continuing to question Bernard Feeney. He performed the survey on the boat for the insurance company when Carmen purchased it in December of 2015. Feeney determined the boat was in saleable condition at the time of Carmen's purchase. The last time I was on the boat, it was an excellent boat, running great. Fantastic boat, and he used it for eight or nine months, had no problems. In the end, Feeney testified, based on depositions, Carmen's removal of the bulkheads from the boat made it unseaworthy. We don't have the boat to prove what actually happened to the boat. That's, 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 that's a distinct disadvantage to trying to decide what's happened here. The defense has not refuted claims Carmen made changes to the boat. Tuesday's witness Brian Woods was in court again, this time to listen as the case unfolds. It was in excellent condition. He, he modified the boat, and that's why it sank. Carmen's attorney continues to argue the boat was old and had several issues before he even bought it. Carmen is expected to take the stand later in this trial. Day three begins tomorrow morning. In Providence, Brandon Truitt, Eyewitness News.